Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Have you ever seen an ant carrying a strawberry? Or perhaps half Thor Jarnson carrying a frozen tree? It's always really cool to see something relatively tiny controlling something exponentially larger. Well, now you can do that too. I mean, you probably can't carry a frozen tree, but you can control a whopping 380 volts AC with a minuscule 3 volts DC. How? I'm glad you asked. With the new SparkFun Quick Quad Solid State Relay Kit. This board can be operated with anywhere from 2.5 to 3.6 volts DC with a recommended voltage of 3.3. The relays will each take up to 40 amps from 24 to 380 volts AC. There's an onboard ATtiny84 that not only comes pre-programmed to accept various commands to toggle all four relays, but will also allow you to software configure the I2C addresses. So if you had the desire and power, you could daisy chain over 100 quick quad relays. However, without some serious power management, toggling lots of relays on a 3.3 volt bus can cause voltage spikes, so you'll definitely need an external power supply on the operating side for that. One important thing to note about these relays is that they're normally open only, so please be aware of that if your project requires normally closed circuits. And they're designed to control AC devices only. If you're trying to use them with a DC device, you can get it to turn on, but you won't be able to turn it off without resetting the board. So stick with AC. Now, if playing around with potentially deadly high voltages isn't your thing, you might be better off going with our IoT Power Relay, which is pretty much an out-of-the-box product. Additionally, if you're looking for a relay solution that doesn't take up a lot of real estate or add too much overall weight to your build, this isn't it. This thing is about as big as my face, and it weighs just under 500 grams, or a little bit over a pound. Now you are going to have to do some assembly with this. There's no soldering, but you will have to bolt on the relays and cut and strip the wires on the control side and screw them into the terminals. Uh, you may have noticed that I have standoffs on the bottom of these for little feet. Those do not come with the kit. I just added those to make it easier to pick up off the table to show you. Now, programming this is really simple thanks to our relay library for Arduino. I did come across one issue with that. I got the board, plugged it in with my quick cable, uploaded the example, BAM! Nothing happened. Uh, I figured out that I had been using that library with our other quick quad board with the mechanical relays, which has a different address. It's a simple fix, just go into your, the top of your sketch, change the I2C address, and Bob's your uncle. You can start programming to your heart's content. And you don't need to be all wired up on the load side to test your sketches, thanks to the onboard LEDs for each relay. Now, once you do add load, things may start to get a little warm. We tested up to 10 amps, and things definitely got warm, but not hot. However, if you are going to go above 10 amps, I would definitely recommend looking at heat sink options. You can certainly expect a fuller build from me in the future. Probably get one of our spectrum shields and trigger events with sound. I'm thinking probably Halloween. And since this is a quick board, adding additional sensors to trigger your high voltage machinery is as easy as plug, program, and play. So there you have it. If you want to control really high AC voltages with really tiny DC voltages, pick up the SparkFun Quick Quad Solid State Relay Kit. Grab yours over at sparkfun.com, and as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking! Additionally, if you're looking for a solution, a relay solution, potentially lethal, lethal. I know I can be much, especially if people watch this first thing in the morning. <laughs> Hi there, <Scooby> <laughs> <laughs> Now, if playing around with high voltages, I should say lethal. I gotta get lethal in there. Maybe I'll say deadly, potentially deadly. How about that? I'll just assume I said it right, and if I didn't, just throw something at me, and I'll go back. I okay. recommend looking into heat sink options. What else? So, oh, I want to say that it's a quick, and then you can add sensors to trigger things too. I'll do that. And looking into heat sink options. Brr, that's where I stopped last time too. You can add various sensors and things to make the things happen.